In this lecture, we are going to work on the functionality of displaying the searched user based on the search key in the UI. For that, let's go to VS Code. And here, let me go and let me close this user slice.js file. Let's also close this user.js file. Let's close this search.js. Or maybe let's keep it open. Let's keep this sidebar open. Let's close this protected route.js and let's keep this index.css open. So in here, inside the components folder of this home component, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it as userlist.js. And inside that, we are going to create a user list component. Let's make this U in uppercase and let's call it users list. Okay. And let's also go ahead and let's export this component as default. All right. Now from here, we're going to return some JSX. And again, in order to save some time, I have already written some JSX and some CSS for user list. So let me copy this JSX from here. Let's go to VS Code and there let's paste it. And I think we have this extra closing tag. Let's remove it. And I'm also going to remove this commented image tag from here. And for now, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to comment it. Okay. Let's also format it a little bit. All right. Let's save the changes. And let's go ahead and let's use this user list component in the sidebar component. So in place of this commented code, we are going to use user list component. Okay. And to use this user list component, we also need to import it. So if I save the changes and if we go to our application, there you will see that some content is being displayed. Basically, it is displaying the name, the email of the user and this start chat button. Now, currently, these values are hard coded. So we are going to change it in a bit. But before that, let's also go ahead and let's design this. So for that, let's go ahead and let's copy this CSS for the user list. And let's go to VS Code. Let's go to index.css. And there, I'm going to paste the CSS for displaying the filtered user. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to our application. And it will look something like this. So, for example, if I will search a user, let's say Mary here, that user will be displayed like this. So, initially, it should not be displayed. Only when the user has typed something in this search text box, then based on that text, it should filter all the users and it should display it something like this. Okay. Now, in order to display the filtered users in this component, so let me close this index.css. So, in this user list component we need the search text the text which the user has typed in this text box and that we are going to pass from the sidebar component so to this user list we are going to pass a prop we are calling it as search key and we are going to pass this search key here we are not going to pass set search key because there in this user list component we are not going to update the value of search key so that's why I'm not passing that. I'm only passing this search key. Let's save this file. Let's go to user list component. And there, here, we are going to receive that search key as props. So let me paste it here. And using this search key, we want to filter all the users. And then we want to display it using this div. Okay. Now, in order to do that, we need all the users which we have fetched from the database for that here. Let's go ahead and let's import that all users state. And to get this all users, we are going to use use selector. And to use this use selector, we also need to import it from React Redux. And to this use selector, let's pass this arrow function. And there, let's specify that we want to get the user reducer here. So now what we want is we want to display this HTML for all the users. So let me cut it from here. And what we are going to do is on this 
all users we are going to use map function okay and here using this map function we are going to loop over each user object so for each iteration we are going to get a user object for that what we are going to do is for each user we are going to show that HTML that JSX and let's also return this JSX from here so now if I go to compass and there if we go to the user collection if I refresh it here you will see that we have total six users so if we go to our application there it should display five users so except the current user except the logged in user we are going to get all the users and for each user we are displaying this ui now here for each of the users we are displaying the same name and email because that is hard coded so let's go ahead and let's change it so in here what we are going to do is we are going to get the first character from the first name and the first character from the last name so for that we will say user dot first name dot here let's use care at and we want to get the first character and let's also convert it to uppercase so if you go to the web page now you will see that the first letter of the first name is being displayed here in the same way we also want to display the first letter of the last name so let me copy this let's use plus and in here instead of first name let's use last name property okay and in order to make it more readable let's write it something like this let's go to the ui and now you can see the first letter of first name and first letter of last name then let's go back here we want to display the full name of the user so here what we will do is again we will use curly braces and in there we will say user dot first name let's add a space and user dot last name and here let's display the user email so here let's say user dot email let's save the changes let's go to our application and you can see that the first name and last name of the user and their email is being displayed here okay now here we don't want to show all the users we only want to show the user which contains the text which we have entered in this search text box for example if i type john then only that user should be filtered whose first name or last name contains john in it okay and let's go and let's write that logic so before using this map function on this all users let's go ahead and let's use the filter function so this filter function is also going to loop over each element of this users array for each iteration we are going to get the user object from that user object we want to filter those users whose first name contains the filtered text this search text or whose last name contains this search text okay so here we can say user dot first name dot to lower dot includes this search key so here we will also convert this search key to lowercase okay here also it should be lowercase or let's also check this same condition on last name okay let's save the changes and then we also need to return the value from here so this expression here it is going to return us a boolean value true or false that value we want to return from here let's save the changes let's go to our application and you'll see that if we have not specified anything in this search text then it is displaying all the users but if i type let's say john in that case it is only showing that user which contains jo in it if i type s it will display only those users whose first name or last name contains s in it if i type v it is going to display only those users whose first name or last name contains v in it but if i don't type anything in that case it is displaying all the users but we don't want this behavior if nothing is typed in the search box then we don't want to display any user because in that case we don't want to search any user right 
So for that, let's go back to VS Code. And here, let's write one more condition. So either this condition should satisfy or let me type search key. So basically, I want to use this search key. So if this search key is empty, then in that case, we don't want to display anything. Okay. So now if you go to the UI, you will see that initially not, no user is being displayed. But as soon as I type something to search, for example, if I type J, it is going to display all those users whose name contains J in it. If I type V, it is going to show all those users whose name contains V in it. If I type maybe F, then it is going to show all those users whose name contains F in it. So this functionality is also working as expected. Now there is one more change which I want to do and that is what I want is if the user profile pic is available in that case I want to display that profile pic here okay otherwise if the user profile pic is not present in that case I want to display this div where we are displaying the initials of the user so here we are going to write some condition so here I'll say if user dot profile pic if it is present then in that case we want to display that profile pic otherwise let's also wrap this within curly braces okay otherwise if user profile pic is not present and initially it is not present for any user so here i'm going to use not operator so if the user profile pic is not present in that case we want to display this div let's save the changes and if you go to the web page if I type something since for no user we have set a profile pic that's why for each of the users it is displaying the initials okay so in this way we can search for a user with whom we want to start a chat in this case Mary is searching for users with whom she wants to start a chat and to start a chat we are simply going to click on the start chat button and we are going to implement this functionality in our coming lectures this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.